Now we are going to discuss about another report for purchase order which is called ME2 star. So we will just double click on it. Okay. And this tells me the purchasing document items based on purchase order. You can do based on contracts. You can do based on scheduling agreement. So we will just do this. We will execute and it will give me a list of purchase orders. So if you see here this is the purchase order this is the line item this is the doc type and this is the purchasing group and this is the short text so if i double click on it if i double click here it will take me to the to the to the po okay so if you notice this is the po number and this is what this is the material number and these are the information now if i click on this suppose bikes click on this and oops so here it will open this and if I double click on this it will open this view okay now here you have informations that you can use now here if you want uh, you can click on the delivery schedules and it will tell you the delivery schedules when it's the delivery date which plant it is and all those things so it's pretty useful here and now suppose you want so if you see there is some there is some things which have more so this is based on the vendor customer so if i double click on this i have a bunch of of uh, POs. okay so here if i just if i go here and it will take me to the goods receipt and the invoice portion okay so if i see there is a purchase order history and here you have the goods receipt so i think if i if i click so it's taking me to this things now if can i select multiple no i cannot select multiple so if i double click on this uh, let me go here because I saw something uh, if I go in this portion and here it will take me to the same PO number okay now after I so this is this is everything that you can do for um, so this is everything I can do now uh, after this if you click on the advanced you can select more options okay you can select plants and all those things so it's pretty useful after that you can do for purchasing contract also so if i execute uh you can get all the contracts related to it so this will give you all those information so if i double click on it it will take me to the purchasing document which is the contract number so this is the contract you see and now if i now go into the scheduling agreement if i execute i'll get all the scheduling agreement here also so if i double click on it it will take me to the scheduling agreement so uh, let me see what's the transaction code if we me33l the contract was me33k so this is pretty useful so this this transaction code which i used was me to start that is purchasing document items and that gives you the overview based on purchase order contracts and scheduling agreement mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.